So hi, everybody. We're just now starting this meeting about the Regen DAO. Um, this is the next step for Regen Tulum to move from basically um, organizing ourselves with WhatsApp to um, organizing ourselves with Discord as our communication platform and into a, a DAO that actually allows us to allocate resources. And I'd like to introduce you to uh, Steph and you can like lead us through the next little bit. Okay, thank you, David. Um, well, thank you everyone for coming and for like, yeah, joining this meeting. I'm really excited for, for finally being able to make this happen. Uh, we've been, I think, all dreaming on doing something like this for a while. And we've been doing like little like individual efforts. So this is the moment that we put all those efforts into one big pot and we do a real like big thing together to make things happen. So yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. And Steph, it's really nice to meet you everyone. And I would like to make like a little round fast presentation, like not extend too much, but yeah, to like say a little bit who you are, where you are now, and what's like your action into like this. Um, yay. Hey, Alex. Um, yeah, into this uh, call, you know, like why Why are you called to, to this meeting? Why is it reason? <laughs> so, yeah, I, my, my reason is absolutely this uh, real regeneration of the planet and a uh, good organization of the civilization to create the world that we really want to live in. Uh, so yeah, I'm so excited for this and be happy to be here. So, um, hi everyone, I'm Oscar. Um, I uh, love the self-organizing fact of Regent Tulum and uh, a tool like a DAO will really up its game and allowing people to feel like they have a vote in the process and um, for people to submit ideas. So it'll uh, really help the self-organizing process for an organization like this. So I'm about it to learn about more of them and um, to help support in the process. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Francis and um, I've been in Tulum, Tulum, Miami, Tulum, Miami base. And uh, I'm here to learn more about the DAO uh, type of organization. I'm not super familiar with it. So looking to looking forward to learning more and getting more involved. And my role and my purpose, if you will, is to regenerate the planet. And the main interest that I have is really using these tools to bring funding down for tangible projects that are absolutely needed. So I'm very excited uh, and learning as to how we can do that. Thank you, everyone. Blessings to all. Hello, hello. Hi, I'm Neil, and I, um, I'm actually watching DC and here part of uh, uh, the whole generative community of seeds and supporting self organizing catalyst of and supporting Oscar and seeing how what we can do about uh, creating any of these here in uh, Tulu. Awesome. Welcome. Hi, Alex. Um, I'm here because I want to participate in the creation of the DAO for Legion Tulum, uh, for projects for the community in general. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just uh, from education to architecture, anything that is involved in, in projects that are for the well being of the community, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'm David. I'm really excited about moving into DAOs. I've been interested in decentralization for about 20 years. I think it's one of the necessary, may not be sufficient in of itself, but it's one of the necessary things that we need to uh, transition towards in order to deal with a lot of the problems that we have, in my humble opinion, Many of the problems have to do with the centralization of power and money and, and other things and the, the uh, inequities that that creates and the, the perverse incentive structures that, that that creates as well. And I believe we can create uh, structures that are transparent and give community members voices based on the 
extent to which they participate, then we create the possibility of a, really a new future. So I'm super excited to be here. I'm really uh, uh, just very happy to see all of you here in this meeting. Perfecto. Hola, soy Valentina. I'm from uh, and I'm a videographer. Uh, I'm just the blog chain. Okay, so cool. And um, I'm here because I want to talk about everything. Awesome. Okay, online, folks. All right, well, I guess I can go next. Uh, my name is Manuel. I go by I go by Mount Manu. Um, and I've been working in the space since I graduated. I, I've only worked on Web3. Um, I've only done <clears throat> blockchain and, and, and uh, cryptocurrency work. Um, more recently, I've gotten into token engineering and I've been working at the token engineering commons as a paid contributor for, uh, it's gonna be a year uh, in a month or two. And I'm here to help you guys have access to global talent and resources. The, the funding that we have, I mean, we were able to raise a million and a half in funding. Uh, a couple of grand of that, maybe a dozen can go into Region Tulum. That is actually our purpose is to advance token engineering, which is digital public goods. It's like the primordial number one public good uh, within the space. What Region Tulum is trying to do, you're, you're, you guys are trying to take care of the public goods, but they're physical public goods, right? So you guys are already ahead of the curve. So the things that we're doing right now, what we're developing as a community, the voting systems, the, the, the decision-making protocols, um, the proposals, the way, the way the stewards lead everything around, I'm here to share that with you and to, to be of assistance. I mean, what... what uh, what man is a man who does not make the world better, right? Uh, and so I'm here to to try it as best I can with you guys. It, Manu, tell us where you are right now. Right, I mean uh, north northern Mexico, uh, Victoria. It's a small, it's the capital of Tamaulipas, the state south of Texas. But I I, I aim at moving to Tulum in a month or two this this quarter. Uh, I actually had David looking looking at some apartments. So hopefully I'll be able to meet you guys physically there soon. Awesome. And just so people know the TEC, the Token Engineering Commons is a DAO and he's working on another DAO as well. And he's connected us with another gentleman named um, Chewy, who is in Mexico City, who also works on a couple of DAOs. So these guys have experience. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, the um, yeah, Chui is a steward for, for, for the communications working group. Uh, we're, we're both Mexican, and uh, of course, it's a global community, but we're like one of the only two or three Mexicans that are actually like a hundred percent into token engineering. And I see that as an, as an opportunity to use what I've learned to actually advance projects or trying to preserve and use token engineering to. To, to preserve resources and, and to, to take care of what we have right now as, as Region Tulum is doing. That's why I instantly vibe with David. I wanna help with what I know, like what they're, see the TC has already been successful at what Region Tulum is trying to do. So it's really just about emulating and mimicking, you know, it's good artists copy, but, but, but great artists steal, you know, it's Picasso kind of vibe, right? Just steal, yeah. I'm, here, I'm here for you to steal the work that we've done at the TC because it's open source anyway, right? We want to share with everyone, especially people who, who have the goals that, that, that you guys have. So I'm here to make that happen. Awesome. Thank you, Manu. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Super. Regent Drive, you want to go? Uh, your camera's off. Happy New Year, family. Hello. Hey, hey. Hello. Happy New Year. So we're here with Sonia and Hannah. Uh, we are part of the team of Oscar. Uh, we are supporting uh, Regent Tulum with everything. So ready to be part of the creation of the token and 
all the beautiful things that we are going to do this next year. Yeah, thank you, David, for uh, for being here, for doing that. It's uh, it's such a beautiful idea, and you're so smart, so humble. So we are uh, waiting for what's going to happen with uh, with uh, mm, your project. Our project. <laughs> Our, yes, project. Our project. Our project. <laughs> Beautiful. Hannah, you. Hello, Alma. <laughs> Hannah, you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Hannah, and I'm uh, I'm living at the Region Tribe at the moment, and uh, I'm also working for a crypto company. That's why I'm super interested in uh, in today's meeting. I'm generally in the space, and I'm very happy to be here, and also to see how the project is growing and evolving. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for being Yay. here. <laughs> <laughs> and our friend. Mel, we're going to explain uh, lo que estamos haciendo es ahorita un poco como presentarnos nuestro nombre y decir pues como por qué estamos aquí como en el llamado, ¿no? Como de, de, de venir a esta reunión un poco. Lo puedes decir en inglés, estamos todos en inglés. Puedes lo explicar rápido en español. Igual no para que tú lo, lo escucharas. Eh, estamos haciendo esa uh, okay, thank you. Hi, guys. Hi, everything. I'm Meli. Sorry for my English. It's a li little bit. Uh, I'm friend to Steph and sister to Valen. And I'm starting in this world to the crypto in this year, but I'm very interested in the blockchain system. I'm when I see all the uh, structure for the blockchain, I'm going, oh wow, a new new moon is coming. <laughs> I'm I'm. We are we we told uh, for the Tulum coin with Balen and Steph and other friends uh, and we we uh, every time say uh, is is a project for making uh, in conjunto uh, como uh, between I don't know uh, because it's um, making it in a team yeah 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 yeah. Uh, well, I I'm here. I <laughs> I'm I'm here. I'm a part of the team. I don't know como, but I'm I'm here, present. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Super Olmo. Not por aquí ya. Olmo. I'm here in Tulum and excited to see. A ver otra vez. Keep up. So. Creo que está está un poco mala la conexión. ¿Nos escuchas bien? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, next, people start presenting yourself. Yeah. Your your turn. Your turn. You're the last. We already present. Yeah, todos estamos. Uh -huh. Okay. It, it's, maybe. I don't understand. Get your. Olmo, no entendemos bien. Te present. ¿Qué te quieres presentar? <laughs> Maybe his connection isn't that good. Okay. Uh, he did. Nos escuchas, Salmo? Yeah. yeah. His connection is bad. Okay. okay. So, no, se, se corta lo que, lo que dices, pero igual tal vez si lo quieres escribir en el chat, podríamos escribirlo y leemos ahí más o menos lo que dices para que podamos ver como, sí, más o menos lo que quieras decir, pero no se escucha, no se entiende. Entonces mejor igual si quieres como escribirlo en el chat, buenísimo, como and presentación. Y si se corta, estamos grabando también, así que vamos a enviar el recording mañana. Sí, sí, pero es mejor si estamos en el chat. Sí, 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 s
Entonces, bueno, pues gracias. Welcome everyone. Like, it's really exciting this this first meeting because we, as, as, as I think Mel was just saying, it's like there's a lot of people talking about this, you know, about doing a total coin, about making these like local currency kind of thing. But, So we're all doing this uh, individual efforts in individual research and things, and we're kind of getting somewhere, but not really. If we are not together, we cannot do the real big thing that we have the potential to do. So it's really exciting to be like all here together and listening and putting up our experiences. It's really nice to have like uh, you two guys here, like Manu and, and um, Mayo. Mayo. Um, because it's like you've been doing like a, a lot of this already in your own way and stuff. So it's really nice to have like your vision, your ears and like, yeah, your work through this meeting. Um, and of course you all, uh, we all uh, that we feel the call to make this happen. Uh, so I don't know if everyone read like the white paper that David sent us like for a while ago. Everyone has read it? You, you, yeah, everyone. Everyone. Alma también lo leíste, el white paper. Ah, bueno, uh, you too, uh, Manu, tú también lo leíste, ¿no? Más o menos. Sí, sí lo leí, sí. Ok, perfecto. Um, Okay, so we, we, we're all like very much knowing like what we were like talking about then. And, and anyway, I'm gonna put it here so we can have. Okay. So you wanna. Of what? Um... Well, I think that the, the key thing is that we started talking about decentralized public works as really being core to the solution here in Tulum. And our notion was, well, if the city isn't actually taking the steps that it needs to, to change things, to get it on the right course, then the community needs to come together and So we thought of, well, public works is when the city does something, but if it's decentralized public works, then it's the community taking over and it, you know, pushing forward projects that might normally done by, be done by the city or be funded by the city. And as we've come further into understanding, there is this realization that that thing, decentralized public works is really a DAO. <laughs> DAO is the software that allows a community to come together to operate on the blockchain in a transparent manner to allocate resources to projects that need to happen according to the community. And so the community is able to, to vote on proposals and, and um, decide which ones get funded. The other thing that's really interesting around the DAO, of course, is the ability to value things that haven't been valued so far in, or aren't being valued in the dollar peso economy. Uh, like um, ecological things, they're just not valued. Picking up garbage is not valued. Preventing garbage is not valued. Preventing sewage from getting its cenotes is not valued. Preventing landfill leachate from getting into the groundwater and going into the ocean and killing the reef is not valued by the current system. So we can create token and tokenomics as Manu was talking about earlier that actually value these, these things that um, we think that we know have an intrinsic value, but yet aren't um, included in the, the current economy. Hey, hey, would you like to introduce <laughs> yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm, I'm Deepak. Uh, I would like to attend, but I'm just finishing Finish work. work. I'm into crypto as well. I'm, just, I'm just a crypto founder. But uh, if you guys are hanging out afterwards, or if I finish my work early, I'll come up. Yeah. Please yeah. do it. If you guys are hanging out afterwards, just like ping me in the center. Perfect. Okay, Thank what's you. your what's your startup? Uh, So I'm building a new like synthetic acid protocol. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> nice. 
I don't, I don't know if guys here, the energy inside. attracting. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are from the region thing? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So you guys are like community run organization or uh, part of the team? We're, yeah, well, it's it. Organization for part of the whole organization. Oh, nice. nice. It's I mean, becoming a DAO. Oh, love, love it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's getting transformed as we okay. speak. Love so. it. I met Greg in uh, Toronto. I used to learn. Oh, you want to know once you make a transition here? Yeah, I'm still <laughs> trying, to, trying to figure out my transition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys continue. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank thank you for coming. You're welcome to come. Yeah. <laughs> So, so yeah, so being able to allocate resources, being able to create resources that are able to provide, to attribute value to the things that we want um, are a couple of the things that can be done with the DAO, decentralized finance as well. Um, and one of the key things is really a community currency. But what we're wanting to do now is to, to really build this team, the team that's going to bring this to uh, fruition because it's gonna it's gonna take uh, effort. I mean, it's, it's really a startup. It's a Web three startup, basically. When you talk about doing a DAO, it's not like you know some little effort where people can put in a couple hours a week. It's gonna take a lot of concerted effort where people take on roles and um, really come together in a way, a unified way that to actually. Uh, get this off the ground so so yeah so that's pretty much like also like one of the reasons of the call of this meeting you know like we want to know who wants to take which role and how we can start organizing this like to start really like going or start like <laughs> And at the end, like we we all just like we we can think ourselves like a, I don't know how's that like word in English, but it's like engranar, you know, like uh this like how you say that in English? Gears, gears, gears. We're like gears, you know, like we keep like moving and we make our moving, and then more gears are gonna keep on adding, and then we're gonna be like, like a bigger machine that goes faster with everything. But we need to have here like the base gears, you know, like to, to have everything like. So yeah. I think there's some folks that aren't completely comfortable with all aspects of the understanding of a DAO, and including myself. But if there are some questions that people have, I think it'd be great. And, and you know, there's no dumb questions here. If you have a question, probably 12 other people do as well. So it'd be great for people to just to throw out whatever questions, concerns, doubts that they have here so we can address them as a group. So one of my questions is while the DAO is being drafted and designed or, you know, uh, are we also making the, the, are we also getting into a blockchain right away without being so defined or it's just we have to be completely clear on what our DAO for region to them is and then we join or how does that work? It'll be best, you know, like if we can just like be really like as clear as possible before we enter like definitely to a blockchain because there's many options and everything like to make a token. It's super easy. You can make a token like easy. That's not the problem, you know, but it will be really nice like to have all the base really well, like everything. And then that mo in, that, in all that time, we will be like, checking for real the contracts are of everything to see how's the best uh like yeah you know like plan you know it's what's yeah the best tra strategy to like fit on one blockchain because there's a couple of really good options of like blockchains to hold or token but it's that's not the main uh thing the main thing is that the base is like strong enough and that we're working on what are we doing and what is the base and then the token is just going to be happening so what we're going to be doing is like starting with a token like base, like using like tokens that are not exactly tokens because they're not tokenized yet, but we, they'll be counted in, you know? And we, so that way we could be start like working with all this with a real thing that we're already getting like kind of um, 
a reward, you know, that we are not feeling that we are working for free again, you know, because that's one of the things that we want to stop, you know, like we all love the, the, the earth and we all love everything. With, there's no possibility to like work for free, definitely, because there's like needs still, you know. So, of course, you're going to give more time of your need of, of your time to something that is giving you money right now than something that it gives you like your work. You then you give the priority to that, you know. So if we feel like if we have something that make us feel that we are having a reward for also going, get, getting all this work done and everything, we don't feel that we're working for free anymore. And then we come in for real, you know. And that's one of the like uh, incentives, you know, for for all this like to to start having a real like uh, you know like shape our organization and <coughs> structure, you know. I think we start like structuring our team our work and our like uh, responsibilities and a reward for it and everything everyone's going to be working so much better than if it's like keep on waiting until the token blah 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 you know one more thing to turn off the cameras except for the digital jungle ones just messaging turn turn off the, the cameras apagan las cámaras excepto las dos de digital jungle is it is it the one of the maybe there's two microphones this morning, so they're hearing your microphone. Is it about the sound or is it about the camera? It's it's because of the connection. Like he's probably doesn't have that much bandwidth, and so all the he he. Uh, so it. I can turn off mine. Is is it the this one is better. This one's recording. And and so the thing that I wanted to add on to that is, it's not just one token. It's actually probably at least three tokens uh, that we're gonna have. So there's Regen DAO. At least I don't. I don't know. We can decide what we want to call it. I've been just like colloquially calling it Regen Tao. So that's the DAO and the DAO would have it, at least an ownership token and probably a voice token as well. Um, at least that's what, what we've been talking to um, to France of the, of the Seeds Network, Haifa, about. And then there's the Tulum coin. So those are uh, prospectively three different um, tokens and definitely want to get Manu's um, Eisen on this as well but uh, so i just wanted to kind of bring up so it's you know multiple tokens and like steph said we can get organized and um you know create a token that may just be an erc20 it may not be the the, the end up the end all um be all token it may end up just being a transitory one a temporary one but it's still a way for us to, at this point, to start giving ourselves some compensations. We know that we're we're actually doing this uh, and having a fair exchange. So we can have the DAO and the coin into different blockchains. Yep. Okay. And they can be like linked in many ways. That's what we need to like study in a right, right way. Like how's the best contract tracing? How's the best holding of each? How's, yeah. Because the, for example, the DAO maybe it's better to have, be like in something like six, for example, you know, like, but maybe the coin it's easier if it's in Solana or Cardano, that it's going to be easier to just like make it now, like able to jump into the, on the market, you know? So we can have like that, like uh, analysis between like the, the, the team that wants to work completely on that part of the work, you know, because there's many ways, you know, all this part, like, I mean, I think most of the people that are here are interested in the, in the, in the subject, you know, in the, in the, yeah. in the theme of making like the, the yeah. thing and everything, but also there's going to be many <coughs> ways of like getting involved and more like connection on this, you know, so we were, I wanted to like to go straight, like, if we all went through these, um, if you don't like, it will be really nice like, to keep and go like, deeper a little bit into what kind of like uh, activities we like to well, put up here already, like we contemplate, and what maybe you will add to it, you know, or maybe what what you do. Okay, so this is like more or less uh, like the, the proposal of like the the uh, yeah the community incentives to be a really commitment. Which, oh, 
the roles or one of, the, of these like different activities that are going to be adding all these like launching points and they're going to be giving us like the action and also like the, the, the like yeah be sounding around and to be like be connecting with people and all that and there's yeah. going to be so much things you know like submitting projects and all like making a lot of like yeah like translation so there's shows, a few recordings blah 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 there's a lot of what? there's a lot of recruiting to do <laughs> there's a lot of recruiting exactly yes. we're gonna have a lot of like these Absolutely. and every like all of this team that is gonna be make and the rest that's gonna be making like all these adding like we're gonna be all having like this reward for making this grow and then all the people that is gonna be working through it is gonna be giving something for with also like a reward you know for being doing good things it's great so yeah uh i think it was like pretty much this what i wanted like to show you if you like to like so it before uh stuff like uh if you want to add like something or if you want to if you have a question like on, all, on this or and all that so these are the points being given for different activities that people do many yeah this, this, we, finalized. this is not finalized no, this no, isn't no, what no. we were talking about like submit what you want by the 15th no no, no. no. well this, well that's personal things, this personal things, things that's right 2021 yeah. this is that that was based kind of on this very loose you know not kind of sim, similar to this but this is for moving forward and we will we will be translating what we collectively consents on into software that implements something like this uh, but the 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 main thing is that we've identified some things that that we so know we would be that would be very valuable. And then there's other things that we haven't anticipated and that's why there's proposals and people will put in proposals. Yeah. And I th think some stuff probably will get uh, prioritized to get more launch points, right? Sure. Growth. Yeah, where we are in the trajectory, what we need yeah. at the moment, absolutely. So what's your thought on like the DAO? Um, are you thinking to use one that's ready and just use that or are you still considering the topic of like having a developer step in and build from scratch well i, I think i don't think we do anything from scratch right now we're still in conversation with franz and and i think manu will probably have some ideas as well yeah, we'd like to manu, are, are there any um like DAOs that you are aware of or would share that we could read up about um, one example someone shared with me is uh, BullDAO, which is an EOS-based um, blockchain DAO. Uh, I haven't I haven't heard about that one, but definitely there is no shortage of information in the space. It's crazy. There, there's a lot of innovation. Um, mostly, it's medium articles that get posted. There's also uh, forums that the companies have. There's Discord servers uh there's tweets that go on through uh but uh i i can share i can share information uh yeah you guys just get like a list of any any DAOs that you're familiar with that are existing and functioning um like you DAOs or DAOs, DAOs, DAO software uh DAO software okay. right DAO software that we could implement like a yeah. few it'd be nice if we had like a list of five or ten of them to do this decision process of yeah which one has best smart contracts what well, right the compare and contrast process yeah I, i'm only aware of like one or two of them i haven't done a lot of research but what i've heard um so it'd be nice to get a few recommendations if you know of any oh yeah he knows of some <laughs> yeah yeah i um yeah definitely i i i can i can get that to you but to answer the question before i uh, someone asked about like if we're going to use a DAO or we're going to like uh like create one uh from scratch there there is um i guess like a boilerplate if, if you want like a like a template of a DAO uh that is called gardens i i had talked to david about this before and it is an aragon DAO. If you're familiar aragon is it's uh one yeah, of the I'm on it right now actually i'm on yeah. this website right now i was looking through some of the top ones yeah 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 so basically they they created 
the system to organize governance rights and and uh, turn you know stakeholders and token holders and see how the proposals get voted etc and um yeah gardens is an iteration of that they used that oregon dow and it created a lot of things to to make it really not really easy this is going to be the most difficult thing <laughs> that we're going to do by far i mean creating a bit any business is difficult creating a web3 business a dao which is a complex adaptive system run by complex adaptive organisms that have needs and emotions and mortgages and a lot of stuff that goes on um it is going to be it is going to be uh it's going to be very time consuming so i mean first thing we're going to need a bigger boat right we need developers uh i i can get um i can get uh some people on board but there's there's so much money coming in this space and there's such a high demand that they're really in short supply and they're really not gonna just uh go beyond superficial uh contributions towards us if if we don't incentivize their time so Really, it's uh, not even fake it till you make it, but be it till you make it. So how do we, maybe something that, that will be more accessible is having designers and the team, someone that can create, you know, some pamphlet. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen the website recently. Um, something that we can show when we go and ask for a grant. It can be on Gitcoin. It can be on TC. And we can start just, uh, you know, with a couple, couple grant for, for functions. And, uh, you know, there's really a lot of things. There's GitHub, we use a lot for managing the issues and the tasks. And SandHub, which is sort of like an add-on to that. So sort of like a Scrum Agile type of project management framework where, uh, like Steph was going, like, like Steph was saying, um, we can gear into each other and start sort of like working with one another automatically. Um, so really there's a lot of platforms out there. I know, I know we have a telegram. I know we have a discord server. I'm not sure if we have a GitHub, uh, account, but that is, that is a standard in the space for, uh, you know, people, a team coming together and start and, and saying, okay, we need to do this. Okay. Where does it go? Okay. It goes into this repository, which deals with engineering. Okay. We need to do that. Okay. That goes into business and start segmenting the things that we need to do. And from then on, we can start having people look at them and say, hey, I can do this, yeah, I can do that. Hey, I know someone who can do this. And um, honestly, one of the, like the first thing that, that the TEC did, the Token Engineering Commons where, where I'm working at is they, they assembled the, the reward system, right? So at the beginning they, were, they weren't paying, uh, they were keeping tab of the contributions of people and after they had gotten some funding, well, they had funding since the beginning, um, which is different than, than us, but uh, they kept the tally of everyone. And then later on, people could uh, basically cash out uh, or, or choose to stay in um, to, to get some tokens for the project. So really there's, there's really a lot of things uh, that, that need to be done, but for now, it's just taking taking stock of what everyone's expertise is. Like, what what do you guys uh, do? Um, like, what sort of work are you skilled in? Um, is that the work that you'd like to contribute in? And from that, we start we we can start looking at the things that we need, like the roles that that we still lack. And at par with that, we can start creating, and I, I can do this um, if you haven't already, David, like creating a, a GitHub account where we can start, uh, you know, putting the issues there. Um, and again, this thing that I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm really, what I'm saying is the standard or the things that I see other DAOs do and that we've done and it has been successful getting us so far along um but if you guys have have other ideas or alternatives I'm, I'm happy to to discuss them around i guess for now we we start working on the on the organization the project management one um taking stock of what everyone's skills and expertise are two uh and three start working on our branding our image the logo all that so that 
when we go on and ask for a grant, we already have we already have the team because we've taken stock of what people expertise and the roles are. Um, we have a project where we have a white paper. We have a, a need that is way more urgent than these other projects that that are valuable and needed. But if we don't act, then uh, like Tulum is going to collapse. Like if 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 things stay as they are right now, as I understand it. It's just not sustainable. I, I don't know how long it's gonna last, five, 10 years, maybe less. Um, so that is that that is something that that um that can something that can be framed as something attractive for people to contribute, to work on something, to to protect uh one of the one of the paradises that we have there. And we can start crafting you know, this marketing frame uh around the message and the narrative that, that we want to tell. I mean. They say this is a, this is not a world of angels, but of angles. And having like the 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 narrative that that Regentulum has, it's it sells because it's like it's it. We're trying to save something that the current structures cannot save. It, it they just cannot. They they the incentives are not aligned in the current systems that we have. Um, they just the way it is. Uh, and so we're trying to create new systems. New, I'm sorry, we're trying to create new incentives. That's where the tokens come in. And are, is it going to be like the tokens, or are they going to be governance, right? They are going to be governance, but are, they're going to have monetary value as well, right? Because people are going to cash them. And that's sort of like what's going to keep the economy going. Um, so how do you, it, it, it's, really a, um, it, it's really a balancing act in terms of how much power do you give to token holders? And, and how much uh, of the funds are going to be spent on the actual team building the app versus uh, the reserve pool that we're going to use to actually advance the vision and the mission that we have, which is securing and protecting uh, Tulum's natural uh, resources. So there's really, there's really a lot of things going on. Um, and uh, yeah, I go on these monologues sometime. David, is there, is there anything you, you want to add? Well, I, I want to add that we do not have a, a GitHub account yet. Um, do we need to have a paid one or is, is no, it free? It's free. I, I can make one. I, I can register one. A while back, yeah. Back. By Microsoft, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, it is. Yeah, so we'll start it. We'll start an account. Um, that's great. Um, yeah, all of what you said, I think, makes a lot of sense. Like, let's uh, let's inventory. Let's uh, figure out what roles people are interested in. Francis. No, uh, they were. My phone was telling me on the, the screen. Or if we have a screen that we're sharing on the actual. Oh, um, so that's not can, being shared. Okay, the actual. So, um, can you send send the the link to this the the document to the chat, Steph? Would that work? Sending the document to him? He has it. Oh, okay. I just said already. I said it to him. I guess, and it's on the group chat. See. So what's he seeing? Is it share? Yeah. It's share. You sharing the screen? No, no. The thing is that he's holding the the meeting. Okay. So what we're doing here is just like my computer. Yeah. So I can share like the here. I can put this like to here. I said Okay. 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 So he he had to. Okay. 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 So we are going a little bit through the role. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Cool. No? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's great to go through the roles. I mean, these are not. Ex these are not all the roles either. No, are... no, exactly. No, 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 none of this is defined, defined yet. No, but it's pretty advanced. So that's now like the time that we all want to like, uh, yeah, put on whatever we would like to change, add, uh, modify, uh, yeah, whatever, you know? So, yeah, no, the, the, the token engineering part of the percentages and all that, that's, that's for a token engineer. Like I, I can get someone on board, um, uh, I can help on that, but but really like crafting the actual system and and we can 
we can have a system in place where, where we can vote on it and later on change it. But at first, it, need, it needs to be it needs to be sustainable. It needs to be um, it, it needs to work to to incentivize the things that that we wanted to. Um, sometimes with these systems, we you have an intention where you're designing it, but if you don't put the parameters right, and that's something that else that we developed, uh, we developed a dashboard where you can like uh, tweak different parameters. So a DAO has different parameters, right? Like what's going to be a total supply of coins? Uh, what's going to be the opening price? Uh, what's going to be, uh, you know, how many days is it going to be? How many weeks is it going to be locked up? Uh, is there going to be a price floor? There's just a lot of things. Really, it's economic engineering and it, it's collaborative economics. And it's the first time that we can do that. Um, ideally, central banks would do this kind of planning, but they don't. They do some type of some type of quantitative planning, but not like we can do now with tokens and with uh, uh, with uh, blockchain and smart contracts. And um, and yeah, like all of these, like for a token engineer, definitely, I wouldn't even. <laughs> it's something that needs to be it, it, it just needs to it's like the the secret sauce you know it just needs to be perfect for everything because everything else stands on top of it right um something yeah else, i think the, the, the uh, time percent and all that is also one thing that is not definitely like defined or anything yeah, but we can definitely all that like yeah we but can, I guess we're gonna work yeah. it out with how like how's the best way that I understand yeah. perfectly what you're saying. Yeah. But it was like a little bit more going through like the like the roles uh itself, you know. So it's like yeah, like the director, manager, the marketing and social media, you know, like a little bit of like what each will be doing, you know, outreach coordinator, community manager, event coordinator, DAO proposal writer, uh fundraiser, development, uh, treasurer, uh, technology, NFTs development, and onboard specialists, different things like the there's, and that's going to be just a couple, you know, there's many other roles that we can be adding into this. And now will be like the, the, the time to like add that so we can have like a little bit more clear of what roles are there. Graphic artist needs to be up there too. Uh, media, people doing media content as well. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of things I think we could like add to this to this uh, document of the, of the roles and like the thing. Each you have the business development and fundraiser as one role. Exactly. We could yeah. make it like in one role. It could be in, in two, in two different roles because there's one, you know, like it depends on how we want to manage. Okay. You know? yeah. And just to be clear, these roles, they're not necessarily just one person. It could be that there's three people that are working on one of these things and they could be working on kind of the same thing all together or they could be working on different slices of it. And yeah. One person can work on multiple roles as well. Yeah, because like for example, maybe like the, the business like development and all that is like one thing, but the fundraisers are like we need to be like a couple, you know, so it can be also like a one head of teams or teams like that will play into teams. Every every one of these roles, it's not like it could it needs to play into teams, you know. So we can really be productive because if we try to do everything, it's not gonna work out. We need to do as less as we need, like can, but as you know, precise. So we can we can distribute all the all the real life work between a lot of people, and a lot of people can win, and a lot of people can be part of this for real. It's yeah. one of the departments essentially. So you're, these are roles for now, but then it's roles for now. now the there are going to be kind of also heads of departments. Yeah. you know, because that's yeah, that's we gotta be on charge because also when we feel like yeah we could do you no know, like we need to get on like the role for now because it's really important that we commit to what we're gonna be doing for real and like you know we know what's our responsibility mm -hmm. all that so uh, the, the other structure that's kind of like departments is circles um which is it bubbles you yeah. want to go down a little bit um circles is how a lot of these DAOs think oh you went past it a little bit too far there it is yeah, so we have 
proposed kind of five different circles. One is really for this DAO launched team. Um, the, the other one is for the Save Tulum Sacred Waters campaign. Then the, the directory, the Tulum coin, and the NFTs, all of these really need um, a concerted effort. And there may be some other ones as well um, that that could be useful. And maybe you might want to, if you could make that bigger, because it looks like people are trying to trying to read it. But uh, are they are those like the equivalent of like working groups or like departments on a company? Yeah. Or by circles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cenote, so uh, that's a good idea. <laughs> not circles, they're cenotes. <laughs> I like that. That's great. Um, there could also probably be an anchor circle or anchor cenote. I love I love that it's cenote because every cenote is like kind of independent, but they're all connected. <laughs> they're all connected. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's really deep that we call everything like the, the circles instead of circle cenotes. Yeah, that would be very hard. Where circles connected, interconnected. Circles. Yeah, so the DAO as <laughs> the DAO that actually cenotes in the area. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I have a question. Um, I'm not really uh, very experienced with DAO creation. Um, do you like building an app, like building a right a web app or a phone app? Do you define functionality that you expect this DAO to accomplish? And do you have you guys laid that out yet? Is that when there's you some in the in the white paper, but I mean it's pretty. There's I mean there's a lot of nuance to it, but it's basically being able to. Uh, accept proposals, being able to, you know, make sure that they're in the right form to be put out to vote, to be able to vote on them. What are some proposals you'd imagine, Mike? Do we want to fund this project that's saving the synotics? Well, I mean, I think it's, okay, what's the name of the proposal, the description of it, what is the right. projected impact, what are the milestones, how many resources are, are needed, um, Right, that's yeah, like that's the semantics of the proposal, but like, okay, proposal is perfect. This proposal is to save, uh, well, okay, to support this organization that educates children. There's many different types. So there, there'll be there'll be proposals for how to build the software. There'll be proposals for how the 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 DAO should be run. Like it might be that okay. the DAO earmarks a certain amount for children, and that could change through a uh, a right. proposal in the future. There'll be there'll be um, proposals for how the Tulum coin is set up and how it runs. There'll be okay. proposals for regenerative projects. And people will go on the options for these proposals. I'm just trying to envision like, right? Cause you guys mentioned, oh, we want to use this to reward people for coming to meetings, for example, to like issue tokens, reward we tokens. We have, we, 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 it, it, it's confusing, but we do have like, it, it's like a two tier proposal where we, we have proposals to do work within our DAO. And then right. we have proposals from, for, uh, from people coming outside of our DAOs uh, requesting funds to fund their projects that are looking to create education, resources, software, right. whatever it is for token engineering. Right, so, so it's, it's internal and external proposals. proposals. Yeah, it's right. gonna be like, we're gonna have proposals internally to be like, hey, do we change the percentage of governance or whatever you know like internally and then we're going to have proposals to be like hey uh we need like we need 10K, we need 10k to protect these whatever you know right so um like i guess my question is not what's the hold up but like um okay we're gonna pick up like what's the process here picking one that exists that's out there that we're gonna plug into and say this is this is our down now yeah. Everyone that wants to make an account, create a wallet, yeah. put X amount of tokens in your wallet, and now you have access to our DAO. Yeah, I mean, but I don't know if that's gonna we're gonna jump directly in there. But I, I think um, what's a, I mean, we need to to decide on this. But one thing that was put out was let's let's uh, get people working in Discord. Let's uh, get get a token. A system, the organization, everything set up the way we want it to be, and then we can, we might even start like setting up the con the the compensation agreements and everything, and then 
once we're ready, kick off the Dow. Um, when we have all the, you know, we don't have to get it perfect. We just need to get it organized, the foundation yeah. of it in a way so it has an initial governance structure that's able to evolve. Yeah. And we're not there yet. We're not, okay. we're not at that point where, where, where we have that structure in place. But we have, um, but we have Manu. We no? have Manu who is already providing for us. <laughs> Yeah. already some sort of template so we don't have to delay that process exactly. it will be quicker exactly. yeah exactly like the the what i like is that it's it's similar what what the tc is doing it's similar right we we got funding from we call them hatchers like we had like a crowdfunding round that was like a month long uh called the hatch um and then we had people contribute uh their die which is stable coin they contributed their their dollars uh in the form of die and they, they were given uh, TEC tokens for that, right? And those tokens have a governance value. Um, I mean, sure, they're gonna have a monetary value and there's a pride floor. So um, um, the people who, who come in, they're gonna like record what they do and even, even get an increase on whatever they put in, but that's not the point, right? That's, that's the point is that uh, people who have a stake in, in the matter are the ones who, who, who actually, decide on on um, on on the governance and whatever on the proposals and everything right so the we, we know the finality and that's on the white paper but we, we still need to like reason down sort of like reverse engineer okay we want a coin and we want a coin that people can trade around and there's a tax that that like uh three percent maybe per transaction and that that three percent maybe when you buy and when you sell that gets sent into a reserve pool that is used to pay uh, for operations and to fund projects that actually want to regenerate to loom. Um, and so it's similar to what we do in the sense that, okay, we, uh, the, the TEC has this token, people contributed, uh, their DAI, their stable coin got exchanged for that token. And every time they move around, they lose like, we're still voting on that, right? Uh, but they, they, there's a fee and that fee is the fuel for projects and for like internal operations, etc. Um, yeah. In the end, like the crux of it is, I can I can create a hundred thousand Mount Manu coins right now, and I can say, Woo! hey, they're gonna they're gonna be worth they're gonna be worth uh, five dollars. Who's gonna buy them, right? Where's gonna be liquidity at? So it, there's really a lot of business development to be done, not in the terms of sales, but in terms of like actually community building around going to a hotel, going to a restaurant, and be like, hey, would you? Uh, would you maybe be open to considering accepting Tulum coin? Uh, if we, you know, we can give them maybe, because we're minting the coins, we have a lot of flexibility in terms of like, hey, we can give you 10% uh, below market price. Something like that, you know? Um, things to just incentivize. And it's just incentives. Everything is just incentive, right? We have a finality. We want to do with the coin. But how do we reason, we reason back from, okay, we need a smart contract to do this. And there are going to be people who are trying to game it, right? So we don't think 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 about that as well, right? Okay, so this smart contract is going to do this. This is going to do that. This is going to do that. And and all of that is gonna is gonna become the DAO. And like the first step is okay, we decide on what are the rules that are going to be sort of like the 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 social digital contract of our understanding, right? We are a crew that is coming together, and we have some expectations and there are implicit understandings and we need to find that and and verbalize that into something that we can all agree on and put it out to vote so that the majority wins and um something really interesting about tc is we actually took like a whole year uh and a half to launch because we 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 have this cultural build aspect to it we have a praise giving sort of like a ritual where people go into a discord call and they're like uh, I want to praise David for setting up uh, this call. You know, I want to praise Steph for setting up the video and everything. And we have this like um, um, ritual where we're in it's, 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 it's bonding, it's community building. So stuff like that, that gets to, so that it's not just a couple people that got around and they want to do a DAO, but it's actually like relationships that hold the thing together. So that when there's friction and conflict, which will there, there will be conflict. It makes us stronger, not weaker, because we 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 see we see the things that we're not sort of like coming into an agreement with the contentions, the contentious parts, 
and we can talk through them. And uh, that is something that the current governance with the legislation senators, uh, they cannot do that. But we have been given the tools to do that. We just have to find a way to do it according to our vibes, you know, our, our, our collective personalities and the, the finality that, that we want to do. So there's just a lot of things. Uh, so my, my question is, Manu, my question is now, I, I think I understand what um, Oscar was trying to refer to, meaning you, we have to create the DAO for Region Tulum first, the first thing, and then that will give us an opportunity to create all these files and all these DAOs, whatever that we're going to do, right? We don't have to do it first internally. We can just make the main DAO and then go internal or it goes internal first and then I think that's external. Correct. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah, it, it's internal first because the, the first first. Thing we're gonna, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna vote on sort of like the bylaws of our DAO. Um, oh, okay. and, and that is really important because if, if we don't really, if we don't have that thing like, like Seven. on flick, basically, if we don't have that thing settled and, and concrete, yeah. then it, it's just not going to stand once projects start in and, and try to uh, get okay. funds or whatever. It, it just, it might not work. There might not be the cohesion or the team around it, or people are going to exit or, or, I mean, we've, we have been on a bull market for a while now. What if when we launch a bear market starts and then a lot of people just leave because they have to pay bills and that's understandable. Well, maybe we cannot, we cannot fund them or, or pay for their work. So, um, first it's internal, right? Like setting up the, I mean, talking with a, uh, consulting with a token engineer and being like, okay, what, what is like the dynamics of the thing that we're trying to do? And then, uh, from that, we, we start, uh, thinking about the bylaws or like the, the rules that, that we want to have right now, uh, within the circles or within different working groups. Uh, Etc. So the first thing is internally, so that okay. we can actually have a coin that can allow us to sell finance in a way to a certain point, um, and then we can use that later to actually democratically decide on what we want to do as a project. Well, I want to jump in. There's a couple of things that just have been going on in my mind. I want to presence that we've been in a conversation with uh, Franz Almeyer. Um, uh, one of the founders of Haifa and Seeds. And I want to get him connected with you, uh, Mount Manu, um, so, that, so that you can um, help us verify whether this could be a, a good platform for us to have at least some of our infrastructure on there. They're built on top of Tezos. And um, he has some pretty interesting, um, did you have a chance to look at that last video? The video uh, from the 16th, the 17th, I mean, of December. No, I don't. I don't think so. I'll I'll, I'll look at it uh, after this call. What is it about? It's um, basically we did a, a meeting with with Franz here on the 17th of December, and he, we were talking about DAOs, and he's they're putting together a Mesoamerican um, impact um, network of regeneration and they're really interested in helping us participate in some way and i think we certainly should participate in some way with them yeah. whether we use their their software or not that's an, that is a that's a possibility but something that we would love to to get you in on that conversation so if you could take a look at that that video that would be great and we're, we're looking to re re-engage with Franz sometime soon. We'd love to have you in that conversation. The second thing is, uh, I think it would be really important for us to move quickly on this token, at least getting the token engineering to the point where we feel comfortable um, committing to the people on the team, something that Maybe and maybe it could evolve based on what the community votes on in the future, but at least something that where people can know that oh well their time is going to be compensated. Um, you know, some kind of a social agreement 
uh, right. around that. And I don't know how much we need to find the, the token, token engineering, but if we could have somebody, including yourself, take a look at what we have so far in the, the white paper and help us refine that sooner than later, I think that would be great. Um, and then, yeah, the, how do we vote now? Should we be voting in Discord or what, how do we do that at this point? What were you thinking? when? Because you, you mentioned that we, we, we would be voting on the social contract. We'd be voting on this initial. Yeah. Um, there, there are a couple of protocols that, that have been created. Uh, there's one called um, quadratic voting, um, which is, it, it's basically the number of, you can vote several times let's say you have 5,000 region coins because you did whatever work, right? And um, if you want to vote one time for a proposal, it's just one vote. But if you want to vote twice, it's four votes, right? It's the amount of votes squared. And so what that does is it, it prevents whales from having an undue influence on the actual uh, proposal, right? On the actual decision. And that is something that really sucks right now. Like in in our, I guess it's, it, it's an improvement on voting because right now, if, if, uh, if you want to get a law passed or something, you just like it, just throw some stacks at some Senator and you'll get it passed. Right. But how do we prevent that, uh, uh, on, on a doubt with protocols such as these, right. With, with, uh, uh, quadratic voting. So that's, that's something it gets done on tokens. I mean, right now it can be like one person, one vote. Uh, later on, as we uh, as we work on more and maybe create sort of like a meritocracy, I don't know if that's right, but the, I mean, the more stake you have, the more hours that you put in, the 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 notion is that you have a bigger say. Um, and again, uh, com, uh, quadratic voting is sort of like to stop that from being uh, like the norm or like having that influencing a lot of decisions. But there's, I mean, there's. Really, like I said, there's no shortage of innovation. That's just one. Uh, there's a lot of another thing called like liquid diplomacy or quadratic diplomacy, which is sort of like, hey, okay, we're 10 people and we have, let's say we have a budget of $1,000 for a week. Um, uh, we already completed the work that needed to be done. We like, we sort of like negotiate with one another what each, what other people, we sort of like, uh, say what other people what we think other people deserve to have made based on the limitation of our budget and people sort of vote on hey i think david deserves uh 450 or 300 because he put it all up he did project management he wrote two articles etc you know so there's there's a lot of different things that have been popping around to collaborate around this and to really make it democratic like in every sense of the word maybe even uh uh, sociocratic, which is more like taking into account the the vulnerabilities of of, of uh, democracy. Uh, but for now, voting can be just one person, one vote. I'm sure there's a ton of apps that have to be Web three native or attaching attaching to MetaMask and just be like, I'm sure Google, uh, fucking Google Suite has something to vote. I'm I'm positive. But we could do forms, so forms, or it could be on the Discord, or yeah, just, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, things like that. Um, and that is while that is while that is while we sort of start devoting a lot of time. I mean, up until now, I'm sure all of you have devoted dozens of hours into this. Uh, and I don't know if moving forward we need to agree on this. How how are we how are we going to measure the work that we do before we actually get some funding in? Uh, right? Is it going to be like per hour or like per 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 task? Right? Per task done. Um, and and like that's something else that people that come in, the 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 funders that that come in, the payment for us is going to get deducted from them, but they're not going to mind because the there's going to be a, 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 a speculation. There's going to be a speculative variable to the coin that people buy it and increase in value because there's a lot of traffic on the coin a lot of volume doing a lot of businesses are taking it in i you know uh i can buy maybe a a, a couple nights in a hostel with regen and get 20 percent off 
because we're actually doing a project that actually preserves whatever, like something near them that actually helps tourists come in. I mean, it's really just strategic partnerships all along, like the one you mentioned, David. Um, for now, it's really, I mean, it's really easy for you guys to just talk it over in person. I'm glad to attend these meetings uh, whenever you have, but just talk it through in person and be like, hey, like the consensus we have is this. I can give you my opinion or my vote or whatever, and we can we can start moving that. We also do it asynchronously. So uh, through a Telegram group, Discord server, I don't know which is gonna be like the, the, the number one channel that we're gonna use the most. It's gonna be like a Telegram group or a Discord server, whatever it is. And then also we're gonna have Google Docs to like work on things together. Uh, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, all that good stuff to just manage things together. And uh, I mean, for now, I guess action point moving forward, uh, I told you about like everyone, um, everyone uh, deciding what role they wanna do or what expertise they have that they might wanna work on something related to that. I'm gonna create a GitHub account. That's, that's just five minutes. Um, I wanna watch that video to see if there's a strategic partnership with the guy you mentioned, David. And I'm gonna consult with some token engineers to see what we, uh, what we can do from the white paper that's already done. Chui, Chui um, couldn't attend, but he's, uh, all, he's a steward. Uh, so he's one of the, of the leaders or one of the, basically only have contributors and stewards. So he has a position of leadership because he's very knowledgeable and very committed to what he does. And I definitely feel, and he's very, he's also wants to contribute to his project. So I think with him and myself, uh, and by myself, I'm really good at connecting people. So I, if, and I'm resourceful in the sense that if I don't know how to do something, I at least know someone that knows someone who can get that done. Uh, so I can help you guys with that. But for now, uh, it's really just action points, right? Like, what can we do? Uh, how are we going to measure what we're doing so that there's no misunderstandings of, hey, I'm owed a thousand dollars. Like, chill, you wrote like a tweet. And you win a thousand dollars. It's like, come on, you know. So we have to have that sort of like understanding, and that there might be misunderstanding, but everyone's here out of like uh, goodwill, and we don't want to screw one another. We actually want to regen one another uh, exactly. through the 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 effort that we want to do. So uh, talk it through, and uh, I guess I know what I have to do in terms of like getting a token engineers and getting sort of like project management set up. But on your side, like you guys are physically there. And I mean, I, I don't think it, it's never too early to, to start thinking about who would be able to contribute, maybe like uh, um, businessmen, like wealthy businessmen or people who have an actual best interest in preserving the, the resources that we're trying to regen. Um, a lot of, we're gonna have a lot of, uh, uh, things in place so that they, they don't just come in, throw a bunch of money at us uh, to serve the value and then just leave somewhere else uh, and, 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 you know, have a lot of influence on whatever it is and just vote on, on whatever uh, suits them and not the actual community. So there's a lot of things to prevent that. Um, but for now, it's really just about the money, you know, the connections that we have right there. Uh, I'll, I'll let me deal with the token engineering part and the consulting. Uh, I'll ask people around, but for now, you 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 guys uh, leverage the fact that you're there physically, and there's a, an actual urgent need for what we're trying to do, and try to get people on board. Um, developers, coders, you know, people who are in crypto in Tulum. There's a, from what I hear, there's a lot of people that just go there, are digital nomads, and work from their laptop. Uh, I'm sure they they have, you know, something to contribute at least with their social capital at least they can connect us with someone who can help. Some of them are gonna you know, devote a couple hours of free time, of their free time to contribute. Others are gonna be like, dude, you gotta pay me like I'm front. I just cannot do it otherwise. That's understandable. Um, that's basically it, you know, it's, it's um, I'll help you guys with, with uh, the, the more, uh, technical aspect of it, and you guys can work on the social aspect of it. Um, 
and and we can just join hands every every weekly call or something and see see what our progress is. Excellent. That sounds That's like great. an amazing yeah. way to move forward. More questions. Yeah, I have a question. But, um, as it relates to the sustainability aspects on on the creation of this, I mean, I mean have we we obviously looked into that. What's what, what impact is that? Because we're looking to do sustainable projects, but obviously the using the actual system itself and blockchain is in itself very so that's only if it's only if it's on ethereum or, or bitcoin okay it, 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 it might be on a layer two that's on top of ethereum but like polygon or one of these other ones they're very very efficient we will not use uh, so manu we as you know obviously as a regenerative project we can't use like directly on ethereum and yeah you know, fuck the fees you know fuck paying 43 dollars to send money to someone that's like worse than banks okay we're not going to do that there's there are like like david said there's layer two things that sort of like attach on top of that network and just takes a couple cents to send the transactions um yeah so like voting is going to be inexpensive it's not going to cost uh because of those sort of protocols and uh any other type of treasury management where like bi-weekly sending out payments it's not going to be an issue where we actually have to account for uh really huge gas fees so it, it is an issue right now they're working on fixing it but the solution from what i hear is going to come this year actually but i don't know when this year uh and there's a lot of uh i mean ethereum was like the first one uh but there's solana right now there's tesos i think he was fucked up uh, but there's other there's other networks out there that that that, that we can use. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, we we're not gonna take part in those high fees. We can we can there there are ways around that. Hey hey Manu, by the way, oh, oh go ahead, Francis. Oh, I was gonna just say I don't know if you saw, but uh, I think you were the one who mentioned doing good. They gave us a creator coin. I mean a creator pass of one of the, the few that they gave out. I mean, I don't know how many, they probably gave out 20 or something, but we were one of them. Um, hey man, that's, that's amazing. Uh, awesome. Well, what, what, what does that, it, what, it what, means, perks, it, what are the perks list, that that comes with, you know? It means that we can start listing um, NFTs on their platform now and start okay, well, selling. We, we have a good. funding channel. We have, we have a new revenue channel that just opened open the, their well doing good is awesome they they have um i i uh i i know the founder they're part of the ecosystem of like a couple projects you know tc one hive doing good um and i i um yeah i think that that could be one of the there's a lot of artists in 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 tulum so maybe some of them would want to donate or just you know give their nfts uh like do nfts on our platform and we can just take a fee and um that, that could be something worth exploring i know david i know you already have the whole uh murals type of nft thing where you have like local type of art and you try to modernize it and sort of that that type of thing so uh that could be something that that that, that is explored and, and seeing if we can get some some revenue some funding from from those nfts yeah, absolutely. Alex, Alex is, um, you know, connected us in with a number of artists, including the street art people and some other graphic designers and other folks. So, uh, yeah, we're we're in a pretty good position with respect to artists. I think it's really a matter of us starting to put together some collections for Tulum. And I know Val has an amazing <laughs> set of footage that we could be starting to think about how that could be used as well. And it's definitely the the way we've been talking about it so far. We, so we have the we have the name nf nf Tulum. I mean dot com. If we want to use it, um, we've been talking to people about there being a revenue split, basically. And I think we can decide what that wants to be. We've talked about different things, but um, that could be something that we come together and vote on. Yeah. Cool. Um... Yeah, that works. Uh, I'm, I, I'm more of a poet than a than a than a businessman. So I, I, I've I've only been in in financial technology, but I I feel the most alive when I'm doing art. So I I'd be definitely up to 
contributing on that. I did a spoken word poem for the TC and they liked it. Uh, so sort of like to, to captivating their, the so sort of like encapsulate their ethos, what they're trying to do. Um, but, but yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I think art is a really great way to, to fund some of the things that we want to do. Uh, do you, Absolutely. David, are there any blockers on that or do you need something from me to move that forward? Um, I think we're, we're good on that at the moment, but let, you know, as we move forward, let's, we'll be in contact around that as we, as things pop up. Okay. Um, Hi, Steph. Hi, Steph. Are there any more questions either from people here in the room or from people online? And if there are people online, you have any questions, you know, raise your hand or, or speak up and unmute yourself and speak up have, have you worked with dow house money uh i've i've heard of them but no, i okay. have not worked with them i work with gitcoin uh, i work with tc um i mean i've prime dow you know other 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 DAOs, but may, mainly tc and and gitcoin gitcoin they're they're trying to fund digital public goods so again, they're right in our alley and TEC, they're trying to advance token engineering, which is sort of like the, the firstborn of the digital public goods within the space. It's uh, sort of like logically token engineering. I mean, when you build a bridge, you don't just start piling concrete together. You actually do analysis of what it requires, the stress testing and everything. It's, it, why would it be different for an economy? I mean, there's people livelihoods at stake. Uh, and we don't do that right now. Uh, I'm sure there's uh, an advantage to having opacity on the way that's done, um, but we have an opportunity to do that ourselves for, for our DAO and for our project. And that's exciting, uh, it truly is, um, which is why I consider myself an artist and I'm still doing financial technology. It's like, it's, <laughs> it's but I, I, I do feel like this is the highest good that I can contribute to um so and by the way are both those are gardens is um tc is the gardens implementation right and i don't know about gitcoin um yeah it's it's a it's a gardens it's a gardens dow but like it's a garden dow that that you know god it's it's like uh it's like a garden out that went on the, the the Fast and the Furious and it got pimped out like like fucking 800 RPM and Nitro and Vin Diesel at the wheel and everything. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things that we did to to fit it into our purpose. Um, but to answer your question, yes, it's just it, it is a garden Dow. We just that was our starting point and we built on top of that. Um, so it, it has a bonding curve. Um, you know, we, we just have, um, yeah, there's, there's a way for us to use the funding that we get, sort of like get a fee from that, put that in our reserve pool. And that's, that's what we use to fund other projects and to fund operations. And um, awesome. Yeah, well, I think um, uh, that's, Dow is going to get on that as well. Cause that, that's like the infrastructure that we're going to be using. So. And that's from one hive, but it's again part of the ecosystem. We, 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 uh, we have like the same developers, a lot of the same people, uh, similar leaders, and actually the people who, uh, the people who exited Aragon DAO went into and created one hive. They they were not, uh, they didn't like uh, when the venture capital fund started, you know, doing some stuff, and they just quit their job, and they found the one hive. Which is one, which is why one had created this garden style, just like a template for DAOs, which we're gonna use to create our DAO, and uh, yeah, they funded it themselves with their honey, um, which recently did like 100 percent. Not that I'm into digits, but it was interesting. A lot of people have honey that I know. So nice, nice, yeah. and that you know reminds me as well that you know one of the early things we might want to be thinking about is, you know, getting some proposals in sometime in the next couple of weeks, because we have a lot of the materials. But yeah, I think um, we should probably close up. Um, Neil, did you have any questions or any thoughts you want to add in before we end up? 
Um, just one minor one is that in our self-organizing systems, when we do circles, we designate between what we call core value circles, which are the ones that are doing work on the ground, and then support or network circles, which are the ones that are doing the admin, the support, the fundraising, all the technical stuff, so that we kind of separate the work that is actually being done on the ground from the one, the work that's doing all the support. Thank you. And uh, Val, do you have anything you wanted to add? <laughs> I mean, just just giving the opportunity. Uh, was that me, or, or are you asking someone else? Somebody here. No, somebody here. Okay. It's fine. Someone. I think we're good. I think we're good. Are you not? Okay. I think we're all good. Um, someone in the in the line for sure. Regen tribe, anything? Uh, okay. All right, well, let's. Super, so let's close this. It's really, really, really nice. I think we can now switch this to here. Thank you so much for your help, man, with all of this. Mount Mano, thank, thank, thank you, brother. Thank you so much thank for you. your guidance. Uh -oh. oh no, wait, 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 wait. No, no te escuchamos. ¿Por qué no te escuchamos? Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, no. Era, era yo oh. que estaba, estaba muted. Ah, yo no. Sí, estoy, estoy haciendo el, el técnico, técnico support, ¿no? Um, yeah, no, no, thank to you guys. I mean, some of you aren't even, aren't even Mexican like David, and you guys are saving my country, so I should be taking you. Taking you, so uh, thank you. And uh, I'm glad I, I got in contact with David and I can help you guys. Uh, get this through. I mean, it, it can start with Tulum and who's to say that if we're successful there, we cannot apply that to fucking Mexico City or whatever. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe that's exactly. beyond. That's, that's, that's actually what I wanted to tell, like that yeah. we are being just like a pilot program for something that we can do nationally or in like Latin America globally, of course. Of course yeah. we can go global, you know, but actually yeah. there's one uh, term that uh, that uh, the seed people were using, like France uh, said once that it, we're going local. global. So that, that's what we are, you know, like global, local yeah. growing. And that's yeah. really cool, you know, but so yeah, I think this that we are going to do in Tulum is going to help a lot of people in a lot of in different towns to make the same thing and empower themselves. And then we're going to make the, like this seed that we're planting right now, is something big that we're doing not just for the country but like for yeah the world so thank you all for being here thank you thank you all for, 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 for